Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you an example related to conditional statement. The example will allow user to input the score and then it will display the grade of the score. For example, if the score is between 85 to 100, it means that the student will get grade A. If the score is between 80 T to 85, the student will get grade B. If the score is between 70 to 80, student will get grade C. If the score is between 60 to 70, student will get grade D. If the score is between 50 to 60, student will get grade E. If the score is smaller than 50, the student will get grade F. So I have to create the variable score with the plot, plot, score, and then I allow user to input the score by use pin f. Please input the score, and then I use scan f. Doesn't take f, and then score. To study this case, I have to use conditional statement. First, of the conditional statement, we have to use if. If conditional statement here, and then here is the condition. We have to put the condition, and then after if we use l if. Here I can use print f. For what you get grade A here and then I copy this one to here you get grade B and then I copy paste this one you get grade C D E and F. So we have to write the condition inside if. The condition inside is is score between 85 to 100. For example, I copy this to here. And then you see the warning here. The warning here because in C programming language you couldn't write the variable between the number like this you have to study one by one by writing like this if you want to have the score is between 85 and 100 first you have to study the score of the variable score the variable score is here the variable score is bigger than or equal to 85 so you can write here score is bigger than or equal to 85 you and and view operator and and score it is smaller than or equal to 100 S score smaller than or equal to 1 why you have to write like this? Let me give you an implementation on the mathematics. For example, you have the, the value 2 and 5 here. You have a variable h. You have variable h and h bigger than 2 and h smaller than 5. h bigger than 2, it means the value bigger than 2 is here. And it's smaller than 5. The value smaller than 5 is here. So, it's bigger than 2 and it's smaller than 5. It means that 
x is between 2 and 5 because in C programming language or or it means that union in mathematics and n it means that intersection intersection in mathematics let's go back to our code the code here I write score bigger than or equal to 85 and score smaller than or equal to 100 it means that the score is between 85 to 100 and then I pin you get the grade A and I can copy this code to the condition the second condition is score is between 80 to 85 so I have to write here is 80 to 85 you see here for the 85 it's it doesn't have the sign equal to it just score smaller than 85 so here I have to delete the equal sign and then I can copy this one to the condition the second condition is grade C the grade C is between 70 to 80 so I have to change this value to 70 and 80 and this condition is score bigger than or equal to he is uh, 60 and he is 70 and for the grade E the condition is 50 and he is 60 and then the last one is score the last one is score smaller than 50 so you can give condition by give the score smaller than 50 like this and then let me run the code input the score for example I input 30 30 it means fail so let me enter it and then you get grade F grade S yeah that's right here is to grade F you can give big slot big slot big slot big slot big slot and big slot let me run it again Please input the score. For example, I put the score 90. Then into it, you get grade A. Because uh, 90 is between 85 and 100. Let me run it again. I put 70 H. You get grade C. 78 is grade C so if the user for example is the user input the value for example the value 103 so enter it doesn't work here you see it doesn't work because uh, it our our condition in the case you have to use L, L it means that all the con all this condition are fail and then L we true. So you can use L, L, and then print you input wrong score. 
for if I put 103, you input wrong score. And let me run it again. And then if I input minus 50, you get grade F. Because this condition is true, because score is smaller than 50. If you want to give the condition to the score is between 0 to 50, you can give the condition here. Then I can give score bigger than or equal to 0 and score smaller than 50 and then let me run it again I put minus 50 and then enter you input wrong score because the score is between 0 to 100 so let me run it again I input 0 you get grade F because zero is in the condition.